Good morning, Mally Cats. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this Daenerys inspired glam and also how to style one of her iconic hairstyles. To begin, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. Daenerys has a strong natural brow. So using an angled brush and hair-like brush strokes, I'm going to fill in my sparse eyebrows. Using an eyeliner brush, I dip it into a black eyeshadow and apply it with light strokes to give my eyebrows texture. I switch between the pomade and the shadow until I get the dimension I want in my eyebrows. With Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, I'm going to carve out my eyebrows on the bottom. I'll leave the top side untouched so it has a more natural finish. I'm going to prep my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Always prime your eyes beforehand to make sure your makeup doesn't budge. I'll be using the Morphe 15D Day Slayer Palette to start off my look. Taking the shade Forever, I'm going to apply it in my crease and blend it up and out until it's nicely diffused. For my lid color, I'll be using Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeshadow, Shells and Whistles. Once I've applied it, I'll blend it up into my transition shade. For added glimmer, I'm going to apply the shade Cashmere Love to the center of my lid. And to give the look even more sparkle, I'm using Too Faced Glitter Glue with NYX Face and Body Glitter in Bronze. I'm going to apply this over Cashmere Love. Using NYX Retractable Eyeliner, I'm going to tight line my upper lash line and line above it. Taking the shade Mauve, I'm going to smoke out my eyeliner and apply it under my lower lash line. With the shade Sweet, I'm applying it in my outer V, blending it out and bringing it down under my lower lash line. I'm going to line my waterline halfway with the black eyeliner from earlier and smoke that out with the eyeshadow. Using the Juvia's Place blush palette, I'm going to begin contouring my face. I don't have a filter like Daenerys, so I'm going to make one by shading in where it would be. Using a precision brush and a small amount of concealer, I'm going to highlight the center of what I just shaded in. This will help give the illusion of a filter. Apply a little bit of blush along your cheekbones. Using shells and whistles, I'm going to highlight the inner third of my eyes. Using Star Crushed Mineral Star Bright Highlighter in the shade Birthday Suit, I'm going to highlight the features I want to bring out on my face. For my lip color, I want a natural shade, so I'm going to use CoverGirl's Kitty Cat Lip Gloss in the shade Catalope. I'm going to apply CoverGirl's Peacock Flare Mascara to my lashes, but feel free to use your favorite mascara. 
Now I just have to put lashes on and the makeup is done. Now I'm going to begin the wig styling. The wig I'm going to be using for this look is one I bought off the website Trendy Wigs. It's a really nice white blonde wig with soft lace and it gives you about two and a half inches of parting space down the middle section and one and a half inches on the sides. I am a little sad that there's no comb in the back so I'll probably sew one on later. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. I'm going to hook the hooks in the back together just so I have the tightest fit. Go ahead and plop that baby right on. And cue white chicks moment. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this to my bathroom. Warning, the lighting is horrible, but that's okay. It'll work. To get the wig to stick to my head, I'm going to be using Got To Be Glued's Extra Glued Hair Gel and applying it a little bit below my hairline. I do not have a blow dryer, so I'm going to be standing here fanning myself for about 10 minutes or so. Better yet, until the gel gets tacky. Okay, so now that it's tacky, I'm going to apply the Got To Be Glued Blasting free spray. I just do this because I feel like it gives me a little bit more extra hold than just using the gel by itself. And then I'll just keep fanning again until it's no longer wet, so about five minutes. Awesome sauce. Now I'm going to pull the wig down slightly past my hairline and make sure that it's secure. Usually I'll wrap a scarf around my head for about 10 minutes, but for the sake of time, I'm not doing that today. So I'm just going to show you what the hairline should look like once you're done styling this, more or less. I take a rat tail comb and portion out a very small section of hair. Since the wig came pre-styled with the hair pushed back, I'm taking a curling iron on the lowest setting and ironing the hair downwards so it doesn't stick up as I'm styling. Just make sure not to burn your forehead. Usually I clip all the extra hair back, but for some reason I can't find any hair clips. So go ahead and push the rest of the hair behind your ear and find a way to secure it. I'm just going to use a hair tie. I'm now just going to razor cut the hair at a diagonal. I shouldn't have left out this much hair, but it's okay, it's already cut, so I'm just going to work with it. I'm going to swoop the hair. I'm using the same method one would use on their baby hairs. Since the wig is synthetic, and because I probably left too much hair out, I apply more gel onto the swoop of hair and hold it down until it's fairly dry. For me, this has been trial and error. It's much easier with a human hair unit. It is times like these where I really wish I had a blow dryer. It should look like this more or less. I just still have some kinks to work out. But you know the saying, practice makes perfect. I'm going to start off by grabbing three sections of hair and then starting my braid as if I'm doing a Dutch braid or a cornrow. Don't make your sections too wide because you're going to be doing three braids on each side of the head. You're going to bring the left strand under the middle strand and then the right strand under the left strand. This will start the foundation of your braid. As you braid, only pick up hair from the top side of the braid. Refrain from feeding in hair from the bottom. As you braid down the back, it should start to look like this. So I'm only going to braid halfway down my head and then I'm going to braid off the excess and clip it back so it doesn't get in my way. You're now going to begin the second braid and repeat the process. You're going to do it a third time after this, and then you're going to repeat everything on the other side of your head. Clip it to the side and repeat. So just for simplicity reasons, once the hairstyle's all done, I'm going to put it all up in a half ponytail. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the complete look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this tutorial and want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you're not already, please feel free to follow me on IG at O'Malley. Until next time, Mally Cats.